ASM does have full support for ACS, um, and uh, you can do granular authentication control. So you can say these users can do these functions on these devices, very specific. And it also has a bit more basic but local authentication too. Through the CSM, and you can, you know, configure uh, all of your policies through that. But the idea behind CSM is kind of that it is the storage of all your policies, right? So if you make changes on the CLI, you can do that, but you have to account for that. You have to bring in those policies once they're made. And it's not not exactly the the best way to do it. So. The, the Cisco recommended way is to let CSM be your repository of all your policies and have it push out all that information. If it's something that's not managed by CSM, then you could change it on the CLI as much as you want. CSM won't really notice. But if it is something that is managed by CSM, um, then typically you want to leave those, those policy changes done through CSM. If you do need to change something on the CLI, though, it's totally fine. We do detect out-of-band changes, call those out-of-band changes and uh, it'll warn you if it sees something like that it'll tell you what's changed and make sure that you actually want to deploy this that you know about this change and you can integrate that change into your deployment no, because it'll allow you to make whatever changes you need but then once you tell it to do a deployment it's going to look at the device and say okay is it safe to do this deployment is the config the same as what I think it should be